guys. Woo! Time to stop. We're 30 something feet in the air and it feels like we're 100. Mars is a little scared. Yeah. <laughs> so the basket isn't weighted evenly. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> So we got the building all square. I'm about to get my hair done. And they are about to put on the first piece of roof tin. They got some tin on. Sergeant Barbs is here. Bar on Blake's glasses. We're about to go on the roof. Hair. Ooh, they look good. Mm -hmm. Look how much he's got done. They've got done. Look at that. Officially on our roof. Our new roof. Look at how pretty it is. I'm so excited. We should have put a, like a deal up here. Look at the view. That's that hill country view we paid for that you can only see on the roof. That's a big negative. Nice. That was pretty good. That wasn't a good throw. That was luck. I know. It's up here. That's all that matters. Dude, this battery's dead. No, it's not. You really do like to mess with the higher help, don't you? <laughs> the free the higher help. help. We got that roof done, but now we have to do our awning roof. Start the whole process over. And it's only us two. Yep. Darn it. We're at this sketchy ass place. We called this morning for the like Skytrack telehandler thing to tell me we were done with the rental because we only rented it for a certain amount of time. And the lady told us, it, it's what it is, it's Friday today. She told us that for no extra cost, they're just gonna pick it up on Monday. We have four pieces short on the main building and we're um, gonna do the awning this weekend since um, we're gonna have the Skytrack and it's gonna save us like a ton of money for not having to rent it again. But that we couldn't get the tin that we needed from the tin places because it takes them a while to cut it or like they're not open on the weekends, obviously. So Blake goes on to marketplace and he finds this guy that has literally the exact size tin that we need he has the amount that we need and it's all new um so now we're at this sketchy ass place hand loading this tin and he told me that i needed to stay in the truck the guy seems nice though maybe i'm being judgmental but the the surrounding area and the freaking other people around here a little sketch but god bless this man because we are gonna save so much money and be able to get it done this weekend so <clears throat> yeah it's working out god bless blake too for being a marketplace king I haven't done much today. Blake and his dad got. Yeah. Uh, Blake and his dad got the rest of them purlins up. I cut the floor purlins out over here. We're about to start taking this building down. And Kyle is leaving early again. Mm. 
been slacking a lot lately, old Big Blue over there. Just of social life. Yeah, he's gotten a lot of, a lot of social events. You know, when you come to school like that, you kind of just got to work with it. Mr. Popular. <laughs> two star rating maybe a one star on sydney eats because the sun is up it's 10 o'clock no fucking breakfast we have to cook the shit again ourselves barb what do you think about the rating of sydney's eats I gave her a one star. What do you think? What do you think? Negative five. Jesus. We had to get more dirt hauled in and Blake saw that the guy's seat was really messed up in his truck and we have a seat that is brand new that we were gonna use in one of our trucks and we didn't. So Blake texted and was like, hey, do you just wanna trade the seat for the dirt? And he said yes. How exciting is that? Sweet little baby. You're good. Big malfunction in the seat. <laughs> well, we had that seat, but it wasn't a low, a low rise, so we weren't gonna use it. And that guy, I'm videoing you, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the way. Um, yes. <laughs> We had that seat, and it's not a low rise, and his seat was broken, so we're trading for the dirt. You're a celebrity. We got the guys out here putting the forms up for concrete. Oh, Moses done made it to YouTube. Moses. <laughs> hey. I want it, man. Hey, look this way. I want it. Hit his <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll. Used to come over during the fucking... <laughs> Everyone's over here helping. I'm not gonna help. I'm gonna slow everyone down. <laughs> Fucking Fro about died, I think. I bet. I, I said, Fro, I wouldn't even go over there. Except that you've made yourself, you, you've made it known that you know how to fix shit. You could have just done like me and kicked around in the sand a little bit and nobody <laughs> would fucking call you. <laughs> you could just go over there and party. God, who do we need to help us weld shit? We should call Fro. Hey, we should get fucked up tonight. Who should we call? New guy! <laughs> These walls were scaring me. We've got exciting stuff happening, guys. Um, we have the guys out here working on digging the trenches. Uh, we just went and got our like concrete mesh and plastic that we're gonna put down. And y'all, we are pouring concrete tomorrow at four o'clock in the morning. 6,000 square foot of concrete is what it came out to. It grew a lot since we started this, but it's gonna be so worth it. I cannot wait to not have to roll around in granite and worry about dust and dirt and all of that stuff. I can't even tell y'all how fired up I am about this. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight, so I probably just won't go to sleep. Um, yeah, they're gonna be here at four, so I'll be up at three and outside in my old mud boots.